Hi Luan, how's it going? Hi Amrik, I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm really disappointed because I've just come back from space, but when I was in my rocket, I wanted to contemplate our planet Earth. But it wasn't as beautiful as I thought it would be. The orbit is in fact full of trash. Oh, really? But I think you just contributed to this pollution with your trip. Tell me a bit more about what you saw. We have been sending satellites into space for 65 years. Today, there are more than 5,000 in orbit. Satellites are used for many things, such as facilitating phone calls or enabling the internet. But the problem is about half of the satellites in space are obsolete, defunct. Second, rockets also generate waste and debris in space. Each rocket launch requires stages that are left in orbit. Consequently, collisions between space objects, be they accidental or not, can generate fragments that significantly contribute to the debris population. Taken together, all these things contribute to the degradation of our space environment. If the amount of waste continues to rise, we may never be able to travel in space again because of all the damage the debris could cause. This is referred to as Kessler syndrome. To this visible pollution, you can add invisible pollution caused by greenhouse gases. But I'll let Luan tell you more about that. Thank you for your explanation, Emric. Now, I'm going to tell you how the greenhouse gases effect works. Our Earth emits a continuous stream of infrared radiations into space. These radiations produce heat that is retained within our atmosphere and create an habitable environment thanks to greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide or methane. The molecules of these greenhouse gases vibrate with the radiations and then send them into a direction. They act like a blanket, if you want. But over the past few years, we have been adding more and more blankets to our herds with all the greenhouse gases that we reject. As a result, more and more infrared rays are resent into a direction and the global temperature rises. Space launches can emit hundreds to thousands of tons of greenhouse gases that can be harmful to environments. Fortunately, all rockets don't emit the same amount of greenhouse gases, as it depends on factors such as the type of fuel used or the weight of the rockets. However, the impact of space activities is much lower than the impact of transport or industry. To sum up, launching objects into space, such as satellites and rockets, create a lot of debris, and when they collide, there are even more small pieces that can be dangerous and produce a lot of greenhouse gases. So we need to reduce our number of launches and clean up space. Fortunately, some companies are currently working on it. I don't need that anymore. So, bye.